Smokemaster D coming at you here with the Barbecue Buyer's Guide to Drum Smokers. All right, so what's a drum smoker? You see this rectangular figure here. That is the barrel. Uh, you have that air intake at the bottom, and the air goes in and feeds that charcoal fire. You can put in the wood chunks if you want. The heat rises. The food is there on grates or hooks or hangers, and it gets cooked there, and then the air exits. Now, the great thing about drum smokers is that the juices of the food is going to be dropping down and vaporizing in the fire and rising back up as smoke to create a unique flavor. All right, we're going to start off with the pit barrel cooker. You see that picture down on the bottom? It's got those rebars going across the top there. That's going to have your hanging food. So you can hang lots of stuff. Uh, we're going to see on the next page the accessories, all those baskets you can get. All right. And you're going to notice some very distinctive features here, including these horseshoe handles and the horseshoe handle on the top there. The horseshoes also make up the base. So really unique design elements there. All right. So we start with the Pit Barrel Classic. It's 18.5 inch diameter. It's got a 30 gallon drum. So you see everything that comes with the standard over there, the charcoal basket, the grate, the rebar, the hook tool, and all those hooks. Then we have three upgrade packages, the select choice and the prime. Uh, and I'm just going to point out some of the more unique accessories here. That ash pan is really useful to have. You're going to want those pit grips. Uh, to touch the handles, the hinge grate. Uh, nobody else has the hinge grate. Also, nobody else has the dog hanger or the turkey hanger, the all-purpose hanger, those skewers, the corn hanger. Um, uh, it also seems like this company's in love with bottle openers. So they have several accessories that can open a bottle. Now you can get all of those accessories also with the Pit Barrel Junior, which is going to have that 14 inch diameter, but it has the same vertical height as the Pit Barrel Classic. And you're going to notice that all these prices are $100 cheaper. So let's go on to the pros and cons. Pros, more and better accessories, savings on accessories with packages, travels well, unique design. The PBJ is the cheapest option of all the ones that we're going to talk about. The cons, extra cost for those accessories. No temp gauge. Handles become hot to the touch. No second level for great. And now we're on to the barrel house cooker. So you're going to notice one of the distinctive features there is that lift off base. So you can lift the barrel right off of the base there and add extra fuel if you want to. So it's going to be $329.99, and you get everything there on the left, including that H-frame, the grate, eight hooks, that hook wand, and the barrel itself. Now, there's only one accessory that you can buy, and it's that O-frame grate that's $24.99. So the pros and cons of the barrel house cooker. Pros. Fixes the PVC problems of temp gauge and stay cool handles. The liftoff base to add fuel and clean ashes. Travels well. Two levels for grates. It's cheaper than the PBC. Cons. Thinner metal than other brands. Doesn't hang and hold food easily at the same time. Extra cost for the O-grate. And adding fuel by lifting the base is largely unnecessary. In general, these cookers are very efficient with their fuel and will go for a long time with a full charcoal basket. All right, and here we have the Gateway Drum Smokers. So you're going to notice some distinctive design features, especially those intake pipes up there. Three dampers. Uh, it has that, nice, has that nice temperature gauge right there in the front. We got the 30-gallon for $5.99, and it comes with that grate. And then we have all of these other extra accessories so the rib hangers there $45 a diffuser plate none of the other options we've had so far have had a diffuser plate 
You can add casters to the 30 gallon for $50 there. Another extra great cover for 79 and the clean out tool. Now the 55 gallon. So it's $7.99 for the straight up and $8.99 for the sizzle. Now the sizzle is going to be that paint job that really pops that we have right there. Now that sizzle paint job has a lower temperature rating. So you're going to want to keep the temperature below 400 50 something around there or else it's going to bubble off on you but it comes with a caster wheel set and a grate but if you want these extras it's going to be more all the same extras basically that the 30 gallon has except some of them are a little bit more expensive the rib hangers are uh, a few dollars more uh, the cutting board side table cutting board is an add-on there diffuser plates a few dollars more and I believe the extra grate as well. Now, this 55 gallon has three levels, so you might wanna even buy two more of those grates. Pros and cons of the Gateway Smokers. All right, pros, they have three dampers for excellent temperature control. The dampers are easy to reach. Two levels for the 30 gallon and three levels for the 55 gallon. Comes fully assembled. The caster wheels for the 55 gallon. Cons. Expensive. Hanging food accessories are extra purchase. Heat diffuser is an extra purchase. Heavier, less easy on traveling. And doesn't hang and hold food easily at the same time. And now we're on to the Bronco drum smoker. You can see that distinguishing feature there, the hinged lid. We also have that air intake pipe that's easy reach just like the gateway but it also is going to come with those wheels and the push bar as well as that shelf all right we're going to start with the bronco 299 wow that's low it has that heat diffuser that comes with it also those nine meat hooks and those hangers there now, the only accessories for this Bronco are going to be this triple grate for $49. It looks like you can get a uh, different kind of sears on your meat with the same grate. And then you're going to have a cover for $35 as well. All right, now we have that Bronco Pro for $6.99. You see the heat diffuser, the nine meat hooks. You also have the option of that triple grate. But if you want to use it, you're going to have to get these brackets for $7.99. And then you also have that cover for $45. All right, Bronco pros and cons. Smaller Bronco's price, wow, a low price. Dampers are easy to reach. Heat diffuser standard. Wheels, push bar, and tray. Thick metal. Two levels. Converts to a charcoal grill. You can actually take the charcoal basket, reconfigure the grill. You can get those coals right up there next to the grate and use it as a grill. Cons, heavy, won't travel easily. Two, the Pro's not much cheaper than the 55 gallon gateway. Doesn't hang and hold food easily at the same time. And assembly is required. Now let's take a look at the price plus the shipping cost. So you're gonna take a look over there at the Bronco, that $300 cost. You're gonna wanna get these Broncos in the store definitely don't want to get them from Oklahoma Joe's. They have a flat $150 shipping fee for every smoker that they send out. Um, that $419 cost, I think uh, I got from Amazon or somewhere else. Um, so if you can find it in a box store, do. Okay. Now, all the shipping is free on the Pit Barrel Cooker, Pit Barrel Junior, and the Barrel House. Now, there is a $95 cost to ship the Gateway smokers from Gateway. They do have dealers, but I couldn't find any of the dealers with these Gateways available, maybe because it's winter. But yeah, look into the dealers if you're set on a Gateway, uh, but know that you might have to pay that shipping fee. All right, the weight of the drum smokers. Now, this is going to be important if you're going to want to uh, take these things different places. Uh, one of the great things about drum smokers is that they do travel so well. 
look down at the bottom, you're going to see that we have that SW. That's the shipping weight. And we also have actual weights there. So uh, I couldn't get both of those for most of them. But you see that uh, Barrel House has the 55 pound shipping weight, but the actual is 44. Kind of gives you uh, an idea of what the differences are going to be. Um, so, and we look there, the Bronco drum smoker with that super low price is actually 136 pounds. That's as much as I weigh. So to get it into a vehicle, I would have to lift my own weight. I know I'm a, a smaller man than some people, so maybe that doesn't matter to you, but uh, to others it might. All right, and now we're going to look at the gallons. So I use some math, uh, pi r squared times height. Uh, and I, I try to figure out the gallons to make it all equitable so you could see uh, what each one would hold. So uh, the PBJ, I estimated there to be 22.5 gallons. Uh, we have 30 gallons for the PBC, the uh, Gateway 30, and the Barrel House. Now the Bronco, I estimated to be 28 gallons, but it's pretty much about the same as uh, those other 30 gallons. Um, of course, the Gateway 55 there. The Bronco Pro I estimated to be about 45 gallons. So that gives you a little idea of the difference in the size there inside. That Gateway 55 is going to be the biggest one. Metal thickness. Okay, now it's important to remember that gauge is the higher the number, the thinner the metal. The lower the number, the thicker the metal. Now thicker metal is going to hold in heat better, especially in windy or rainy conditions. So we see that we have uh, the 18 gauge for the pit barrel junior and cooker. Uh, the barrel house has the thinnest metal with the 20 gauge. The gateways, it took me a while to get the thickness of the metal uh, out of gateway. They thought that I was a competitor trying to steal their design, I guess. But, uh, they, but they eventually told me through Facebook that it was 1.2 millimeters. So that it is 18 gauge. Now, the Bronco drum smoker is the thickest metal. Now, the Bronco drum smoker was three millimeters, which is why I have it estimated to that 10.5. Three millimeters is actually thicker than the steel that they use in their offsets, strangely enough. So that is a really thick, heavy smoker, which is a good thing unless you're trying to lift it into a vehicle. All right, and here's a sneak peek of the next episode of the Barbecue Buyer's Guide that will come out in a couple weeks. Uh, so please like and subscribe so you can uh, check out all the great content we have on this channel. And that's it. So do you own one of these drum smokers? If so, please add your review to the comments uh, and go out there and cook some great food, y'all.